Welcome to Solutionary, the premiere episode of the all new, all different Captain Logan show. Uh, I'll be your moderator this evening for some general geeky goodness. Go ahead and put your questions in the comments down below. But let me go, without any further ado, let me introduce our host this evening, the catastrophic, the cataclysmic, none other than the one and only Captain Logan. That's right, y'all. I'm just breaking everything. Greetings, everybody. Welcome back to the Captain Logan Show. Uh, thanks for that wonderful introduction, DJ. I am uh, so excited to be back. Welcome back to the relaunched Geek Uh, We are streamlining. We are focusing on uh, a few specific shows now instead of trying to deliver uh, a package of the universe to you every three weeks. And I think you guys are going to enjoy it. I think you're going to be uh, really excited about what we've got coming up. Uh, the Captain Logan Show is new Wednesday nights now every every week every wednesday at seven o'clock uh unless that changes because of guests i'm going to start trying to have occasionally uh an interview person uh somebody else to uh chat with us dj um i've got somebody lined up for a few weeks from now i'm working on some other stuff so anyway um lots of stuff to tell you guys about i'm so excited about it uh go ahead and start throwing your questions in for the q a i uh, dj is going to of course uh grab all your questions and get ready for the q a a portion. He's going to be moderating and uh, he's going to be our new regular chat moderator and producer. So everybody, please make him welcome. He's really excited about doing this. Uh, as everybody checked out DJ's snazzy new logos, uh, th th this is, this is going to be, I, I guess, a, I, I, I kind of a tradition DJ with this show is that whoever moderates this show must also make all the logos. <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm proud to be part of the next generation of this whole uh, this whole thing, yeah. Uh, I'm uh, I'm so excited about the new look, uh, the the kind of sci-fi angle we've got going on. I feel like um the like lead character in like a sci-fi storybook. I just I I want to I want to like I want to like pop in the shows now in like an animated form, you know, like in like pastels or something. Uh, I it would be it would be great to do like a like like an animated. Captain Logan show. We'd probably be able to do it one time and it would be like a minute and a half long. But yeah, I think that would... like three months to produce. <laughs> yeah. And be like, that's all you get. Read a book. Anyway, so um let's go ahead and start chatting a little bit about the future of the channel and stuff that's going on. I'm sure I'm gonna get a bunch of questions about that. So uh DJ, I'm gonna I uh, just mention a few little pieces of channel news and then uh if you can uh kind of cherry pick some of the questions about the channel. After I do that, we'll do a little channel Q&A, and right. then we'll do like a normal Q&A, like news and geeky things and comic stuff and sci-fi things and superhero movies and all the stuff that you guys are usually here to chat about. Um, the first thing I want to mention is that this last weekend, Dan's News popped in uh, and spent the weekend with me, and we had an absolutely fantastic time. Uh, DJ, I took Dan to see... My dad in Topeka, and he helped me run a sidewalk sale while I was wearing a 60s bat suit. Oh, I saw the photo. It looked pretty snazzy. <laughs> it was a lot of fun. Uh, that was a really weird thing to fly in for, but uh, it <laughs> happened to line up that weekend, and he was game, and he helped me out that whole time. Uh, I didn't expect him to do anything, but he was lugging comic boxes and helping me make sales, and it was great. Uh, we're going to have a vlog up, I think, tomorrow uh, about that on Patreon, so if you want to see our escapades, about a 15-minute video or so, uh, and it, it, at the flea market, and you you want to see the, the uh, Superhero Rewind flea market booth, become a patron for just $2 a month. Patreon.com slash Geekvolution. And that's my quick little Patreon thing. Okay, um, I'm going to get to Patreon here in just a little bit. So what shows, Captain Logan, are you going to be focusing on? Because you keep saying that we're going to be uh, primarily dealing with four or five things. That's not to say that we're not going to... We'll see you later, DJ. Thanks for being here. That's <laughs> not to say that we're not going to have... Here, I'm just going to put this on the empty DJ chair this this whole time while I'm talking. Yeah. Sorry, it's like a pineapple up there. That is the Psych Complete Series collection. Why is it a pineapple? Uh, it's a big uh, uh, motif throughout the whole series. Is it yeah. in Hawaii? No, they just have random stuff. Pineapple. Oh, that's cool. I like um, pineapples. It's, I'm on it's board. My favorite fruit juice. It's very good. This is water, though. <laughs> it would have been amazing if that's what. You... Well, speaking <laughs> of, I have a a Star Trek beer. That's that's what I have. Um, tonight I am drinking uh, Star Trek: The Next Generation Symbiosis. 
the 30th anniversary ale uh, from the next generation. Uh, DJ is not drinking alcohol. DJ is drinking straight up water, which is why he's more healthy than I am. And I have to keep this thing under wraps and under control because can't have it going off the rails on the first show. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. uh, he's our designated producer. <laughs> that is true. Someone said DJ has been dusted in the comments. I'm not sure what that means. I don't know I mean, what, that, what that means. Is it's it, an Avengers thing, but I don't know why. You're clearly here, though. <laughs> yeah. I mean, maybe you came back after that. Well, we'll talk about that later. Uh, I do like to think me about uh, about about uh, in-game spoilers. Uh, we will we'll, we will do in-game spoilers later if anybody wants to ask us anything about that. Uh, but big giant disclaimer right away: there will be in-game spoilers. If you didn't see in-game, or if you don't want it spoiled, um, I hate to tell you to go away because I'm glad you're here. But go away, uh, DJ. What were you? What were you saying? I was saying, I do like to think that the, the high schooler that I played in, in Homecoming, he uh, got dusted. I'm pretty sure he did. <laughs> so, Captain Logan uh, says the, uh, the, the the voiceless audience. Uh, Captain Logan, what are shows are you guys going to be focusing on primarily? Super Hero Rewind, of course, is the big thing. Got a brand new Rewind coming out for you this Friday night, and I've already announced it. It's going to be a revisited review of the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles movie from 1990, which was one of the first reviews I ever did. I want to say that was second or third, uh, way back in 2009. So I, I'm doing some uh, revisited things from 09 as part of the 10th anniversary celebration of Geekvolution, the official anniversary... I want to say it's August. I actually got to go back and check and see what the what the timestamp is from the first video. It might be July. I got to go back and look, but it's this summer. And uh, I'm going to try to figure out the exact date of the first time a Rewind came up and maybe try to do something special for that. I'm going to be in Boston in August to see uh, uh, Dan Torrey, and I'm going to try to do some cool stuff with Dan. Somebody asked me today, uh, what are you doing for the actual anniversary? And I don't know yet. I might be in Boston, so there might be some cool stuff with Dan. Uh, I'm flying by the sea of my pants with that, but we'll do something for it. I'm not sure what yet, but uh, we're We've been doing 10th anniversary stuff this whole year, uh, as evidenced by that really cool logo that Dan's News and DJ put together that I've been putting in front of all the videos. We are going to have a logo based on, uh, I'm assuming, DJ, you know about this, right? Because you, you sent him the elements that we're going to do uh, a logo later in the year based on the, the, the sci-fi logo with the spaceship. And I'm very oh, excited. I can't wait to see it. I'm excited. Yeah, I don't know what he's going to do with it yet. He's going to take your art and he's going to work his magic just like <laughs> he did last time. I'm very excited about it. Anyway, uh, as you, you guys can tell, I'm so enthusiastic to be back. The break was nice. It really was. But uh, I don't know, man. I like working. I like reviewing stuff. I like talking about stuff. And I like hanging out with you guys. And uh, anyway, so I'm stoked. Um, I'm going to go back to what I was talking about. So, Superhero Rewind is the first thing. The second thing is... Uh, is uh, the Captain Logan Show. Obviously, we're going to do this uh, every week. The third, and usually once, but there will occasionally be a second show, and uh, I might sometimes do it all by myself, or DJ is, of course, invited if he's able to make it, but I'm not going to try to force him to do that. Uh, some shows, uh, I haven't even told you about this, DJ. Um, <laughs> we're not going to do it tonight, but I want to try it next week. Some shows, uh, my plan is to have a Super Chat goal. And if we reach the Super Chat goal, I will do a second Captain Logan show later on in the week. That's my plan. We're not going to do it this week, but we are going to try that next week. And then I will bring you something on Friday. Uh, sometimes it'll be a Captain Logan show. It'll always, always be a live show. Sometimes it'll be a Captain Logan show. Sometimes it'll be a, a video game playthrough thing. Uh, sometimes it'll be a commentary. We are going to do commentaries regardless. So don't think that if we don't hit Super Chat goals, you'll never get a commentary. I've even got one in the queue right now that'll be going up in a couple weeks. But extra stuff, extra things uh, all around. So uh, Super Rewind, the Captain Logan show, the Comic Vault. Uh, sometimes that'll be me. Sometimes that'll be me and Eric. Sometimes it'll be me and uh, Dan Torrey. I want to just keep adding people to that. Me and Eric and Dan. Uh, that is, of course, always possible. Uh, and and uh, you know other other magnanimous folks I know that want to come in and do that. And then we're also going to be prioritizing, of course, how we felt about with new movies. Sometimes new other stuff, TV shows. Uh, so things like Primetime Crisis and stuff are going the way of the dinosaurs. Uh, what I'm going to be doing now is if I finish a season of television and I want to talk about it. It'll be how we felt about. Um, sometimes how we felt about and spoiler cast are kind of the same thing. It sort of just depends on whether or not I really feel like talking about spoilers or I think uh, people really want that. So there will always be a sign flip regardless. So uh, in the title, it'll sometimes say how we felt about. It. It'll sometimes say spoiler cast. It's going to say spoiler cast if it's got spoilers, just so that everybody knows about that. They know what a spoiler cast is. And uh, people know that we get real in-depth and nitty gritty when we do with that. Finally, commentaries. Commentaries at least twice a month. 
And uh, that's the newest fit to print. That is fit to print. Those are the major things. Uh, people keep asking me about counting crypto freaks. I have a plan for it. I'm not ready to talk about it yet, uh, but that is going to finish in a form, but not in the form that it has been, or either of the forms, unfortunately, that it has been. People have been asking me about Bat Chat. I got a plan for Bat Chat also. It also will continue in a different form. And uh, I want to say not as often, but of course, you haven't actually seen it in a long time. So anyway, uh, but those are going to be the major shows on the channel. I'm occasionally also probably going to do some uh, video game broadcasting. I have considered getting a Twitch stream, but at the moment, I'm going to keep doing it on YouTube. We did uh, a crazy Arkham City playthrough, me and Dan's uh eight hours and uh we went through the whole story or, or, or rather i should say i died a lot and then handed him the controller and that's why we got through it as quickly as we did <laughs> and then i uh, and and uh we got through the entire game we put that on youtube and uh, people seem to be enjoying it there so uh not a ton of that but occasionally i will do that as well okay so uh that's all the major stuff with the actual programming for geek Solution. and then let me talk a little bit about patreon patreon has changed quite a bit uh, a lot of the perks that i've always had are still there there are some new ones um the first big thing i want to mention is that at the two dollar tier we are indeed still giving you three days early superhero rewinds uh we are still giving you the uh geek Solution after dark my and eric's uncensored talk show it will be at least once a month I can't promise twice right now, but occasionally we may give, give you another one. It will at least be once a month. Uh, then beyond that, uh, I am bringing back also the the uh, live Google Hangouts with me, Cam Logan. We're doing one of those next Tuesday. So if you want to try to get in on, on that call, feel free to jump in. We, uh, If you're a patron, we can only accommodate nine plus myself and eight if DJ shows up. So that's that makes that difficult. And DJ often shows up to those. So uh, if you want to try to beat DJ out and get there early. And uh, no, I'm kidding. Nobody can beat DJ out. Because uh, I was going to say I'll reserve you a spot. I don't even think that's possible. Well, especially if I'm having technical difficulties like I did tonight, you'll definitely beat me. <laughs> yeah, uh, if, you're, if you're upset that we started so late, you can blame DJ. You can blame DJ's work computer. It's all my fault. And the people that could make it because we started late, you can also thank me. That's true. Yeah. See, there's pros and cons to all things. $5 tier is a very special tier now. $5 matters in a way it never has before. That gets you access. Uh, it gets you into the very coveted elite super... I hate the word elite, but I'm going to say it anyway. Uh, the secret superhero screen society where you can talk to me and right now uh, 30 other folks about superhero movies and other superhero screen things, uh, television and uh, video games and what have you on a regular basis. You can talk to me on the regular about those things. And uh, DJ, uh, talk a little bit, if you if you wouldn't mind, about the experiences that we've had with the Secret Society. It's been up for about a week and a half now. I think it's going swimmingly. Oh, it's awesome. Uh, yeah, I've been, uh, I don't use Facebook very much, but I've been, like a lot of the people in the group, using it a lot more since it started. We've been talking about superhero movies, superhero games, superhero TV shows, a lot of good discussion in there and uh, making a lot of new friends. So it's really awesome. Everybody's been super respectful in there. I haven't seen any drama. It's been, uh, they, they're, they're, I mean, people get into heated debates about stuff. It is, it, but but like, again, really respectful debates. Mm -hmm. uh, it is not what you're used to seeing on the internet. And it's wonderfully uh, refreshing. And if it starts to go the more um, volatile direction the internet has been going, then I, I will unfortunately have to throw out patrons even though they like give me money because I don't want that to happen. So that's not going to happen. Um, it has been just absolutely fantastic. Uh, Dan is in there. Eric's been in there a little bit. Uh, DJ's in there quite a bit. Uh, pop in, hang out with us. It is, I, I, I want to say absolutely worth it. Of course I'm running it. So I'm not actually having to pay for it, but I would, I would like, I would like to think that folks are having a really good time with it. Uh, the $10 tier is a oh i should also mention that with the secret society that also gives you the option to put in a tweet length review at the end of a rewind that's right your voice can be heard inside superhero rewind you're going to see some of those at the end of the ninja turtles review i think it's a really cool perk and uh, some folks have taken advantage of it and i hope uh some of you guys will consider doing that as well at the ten dollar tier that makes you a uh a, a uh, patreon producer and instead of just having your name read at the end of rewinds like i was doing your name will actually be featured at the end of most Geekvolution videos now. Um, 
I will update that as often as possible because that changes quite a bit. So uh, hopefully I don't miss that too often, but uh, your name will be in the credits. And then at the $15 tier, uh, requests are back, but more limited now. Uh, so you can request a comic to be reviewed on the vault or a commentary to be reviewed on a commentary because those are shows that we are producing at least twice a month, but you don't get one uh, every single month unless there's only a couple of people doing it. That's going to be on a rotation. So when I get to your name, uh, I'm going to review your thing, and hopefully you'll get at least a few of those a year. Okay, uh, that was lengthy, but I had a lot to talk about. And now, if you guys have any questions about the state of the channel, this is my state of the channel address. And if you guys have any, <laughs> um, if you guys, if you guys have any questions about the state of the channel, it is time for those. I also saw some super chats, and I think some of those were about that. DJ, why don't you throw me a couple of uh, pre-written, and then we'll, we'll uh, try to knock out the super chats. All right, let's do it. So first up, will you do occasional captain's log? Um, I am not planning on it at the moment. That's kind of what this show is for. Like I said, I, I really want to streamline it. I know that on really major news, those would get hit really well. Uh, I really wanted to do one on the Sonic trailer, and maybe I should have. So I don't want to say absolutely not. I want to say never say never. But I think at the moment, it's smarter for me and my schedule uh, to not prioritize those and to do uh, new stuff on the Captain Logan show. That being said, one thing I did forget to mention is that I'm also doing a, uh, the Captain's vlog now over on Patreon, on Patreon, excuse me. I don't mean to put everything up, uh, up over a paywall, uh, but I just, like I said, I'm trying to grow the channel a little bit. I really want to streamline things so that I'm not putting up a bunch of stuff that ends up blocking other things that people really want to watch that they're not going to notice if I'm putting up too much stuff during the week. I'm going to be, uh, on average, putting up three to four videos a week. But I'm going to be doing some more stuff on Patreon, which is why I'm doing that vlog about the flea market stuff from last weekend over on Patreon. And I might occasionally on the vlog talk about new stuff, but I don't plan to make that like a real big, if you want to see me talk about this thing at all, you've got to pay for it. I just might talk a little bit more about a thing that I would also bring up on the Captain Logan show. So that's it's not really a paywall thing so much as just that's where those things are going to be featured uh, because I think it makes more sense for the channel, but I still want to do them. So the vlog, uh, at least a couple of times a month, um, sometimes more often. I've averaged once a week, actually, uh, since I started doing it. That was actually a month ago. Since I've been hot on, on hiatus, I have been making those because I felt bad that Patreon... A lot of folks stuck around on Patreon, which was super nice. Of them. I was gone for, for a full two months, and there were a lot of folks that uh, didn't leave. And uh, I think Patreon stuck around the, the 5 to 550 mark, uh, which is where it is right now. And that was super, super nice of everybody to stick around. So I felt like I needed to give them something uh, for their support. So I was sitting around not working and still getting paid. And I did not feel right about that. So anyway, uh, what else, DJ? Uh, John Early asks, uh, is Geekvolution Rewind United coming back? I don't know if it will be called of that, but I will occasionally do a movie outside of the two genres I usually do. I am mostly comfortable with superhero and science fiction. And I didn't mention the $40 tier on Patreon either because I didn't have a list in front of me and I'm not doing my job right. <laughs> uh, at the $40 tier, of course, I, I dropped that back from $50. Uh, there is a $10 discount now. At the $40, and I'm not promising we'll always stay at $40, but right now it is. And uh, that that gets you a uh, rewind request. I have a big backlog of those right now, so it's going to be a while before I get to those. That's only for superhero and science fiction. You can also do a comic book for, um, or, or I want to do a Vincent things if we do that, for superhero rewind in panels, which I announced, but I actually haven't made one yet. So hopefully not too distant future, but I need to work on requests, which is why that's not come out yet. Uh, so anyway, um, but that's the answer to that. And, and I will do one occasionally. Uh, DJ requested one a long time ago that I really want to do. That's not actually um, one of those two genres, but I've always wanted to talk about it. So um, occasionally a not genre thing or a not one of those genre thing will come up. I don't know if I'll still call it Rewind United or not. I haven't decided. All right. Um, from uh, Coxie Productions, will you ever make another Spider-Man page by page with Dan? Well, speak of the devil and he shall appear. There is Dan Tory in the comments right now as we speak. Uh, he just popped in as you said that. Um, the short answer is yes. Dan and I have been talking about that. We've been kicking it around and I'm not planning on doing a lot of ongoing series where I'm reviewing every episode or every comic in a particular thing. We really want to bring that back. We've been kicking that around. Uh, we can't promise how often that will come out. That will be an occasional sort of thing. So like we might be in our forties by the time 
I uh, we get to issue 100 if we ever even get there, but we're going to do them every so often. That's the plan right now. The next thing Dan's going to be in is the commentary for Into the Spider-Verse, which we're planning right now for next week, uh, tentatively, and that should be happening, and we may shoot oh, I love that movie so much. Yeah, uh, it's going to be exciting. So, anyway, uh, yeah, Dan says he's at the gym. The gymnasio. He says the gymnasium. That sounds like a crappy Spider-Man villain. <laughs> the Amazo. Wait. Yeah, it doesn't work. The Amazo Gymnasio. Yeah, no, not really. Uh, he's got gym mats for a head. <laughs> like Spider-Man starts punching him. And he's like, "Well, that was a dumb idea." It just bounces right off. Like he's his head. He is padding. Uh, okay, go to the super chats if you would, sir. Super chats. Gotcha. Let's go all the way back to the top. Here we go. First up, we have one from... Let's make sure we don't miss those. Mr. Cool 210. Hey, Mr. Cool. What's, What's up, up Mr. Cool? Do you think you will ever bring back... Who reviews the reviewers? Great question. Uh, probably not. I'm open to it eventually if there was enough interest. And by interest, I mean enough people that really wanted to be in it. I feel like the nature of YouTube has changed to the point where there aren't actually as many people doing specifically the review off the cuff thing is there am i am i wrong about this dj are, are you are you seeing fewer people doing that and more like i like i don't know i'm seeing more polished stuff i'm seeing more i don't know like i think it's i think it's changed quite a bit yeah i don't know i don't watch reviews but i'll agree with you i don't watch a ton of reviews either that's why i'm not completely sure about this but just but the essays like, are definitely gaining a lot of traction that's exactly. Like yeah, it seems like there's a lot more written stuff. There's a lot more vloggy type stuff. Um, and what we were doing there was much more in the middle. So, um, yeah, I don't know. Um, when we tried to bring it back, it was a format people didn't like. It was a format I didn't like. And so if we ever do it again, we will call it season five because the season five we had fell apart. And so it's, it wouldn't be called that. And uh, yeah, so I'm I'm not I'm, I'm honestly not totally sure. But uh, and that that was a that was the thing that took a lot of time and effort to, pr to produce and took forever to get through. Um, so I don't know. Uh, I miss it though. It was a really fun thing to do. What else DJ? Uh, next super chat from Roger Lee. Captain Logan, being the writer that you are and being so ingrained in comic book culture, have you ever thought about writing a comic of your own? Let's see if we can put a pin in that and table it and see if we have any other super chats that are specifically about channel stuff. Gotcha. Because I want to get through this section before we go to, to that stuff. All right. Um, this is kind of channel related. When a super chat from Game Station Three. When will you review Thor: The Dark World? Thor: The Dark World is on the short list. Uh, it will be. I don't want to give you a timetable, but it will be sometime in the next five to ten. It will come up soon. The next review after Ninja Turtles is going to be Ant Man because I've got to get some of those MCU things out of the way. And I realized that Thor The Dark World precedes that, and I probably should have done that first. But uh, Ant-Man was a movie that I had as a Patreon goal, and we met that goal. So I'm knocking out goals and requests right now. So that's the reason for that. Right. Um, okay, so any other Super Chats or uh, major pre-written written stuff that you're seeing? There's one more Super Chat that I'm going to skip, because it's not related. I'll come back to it. And then this... <laughs> Uh, I don't know. Oh. This super chat, I don't know if uh, it's not channel related, but I'm going to say it to embarrass you. <clears throat> from, oh, good. From Wakes. Uh, $5 super chat. James, has anyone said you look like Seth Rogen, but hotter? Uh, I have never gotten the hotter part. I've gotten Seth Rogen a lot, but I feel like Seth Rogen is universal. If you have curly hair at all, if you're remotely overweight, like I'm not in the best shape of my life right now. If you've got like, if you've got like a little bit of a chin, like I do right now, you know, a little puffy in the face uh, and you're in your thirties, you get Seth Rogen. There was a time I'm not kidding DJ. And I've gotten this for 10 years forever. People have been saying that I look like Seth Rogen. I'm convinced that I don't or that everyone does. <laughs> He's Guys, just the I curly hair, but also Vince has gotten it. Mm -hmm. Eric has gotten it. Half the men on the channel have gotten it. I've never gotten it. Uh, I guess you I have to have, like, it. even close. Like if somebody <laughs> said you look like Seth Rogen, they're like, I don't even know what they're talking. Like you look like Chandler Bing before you look like Seth Rogen. Like, <laughs> That's amazing. I'll take it. That's not a real person, but I can't think of his name right now. That's from Friends. Yes, yes, Matthew Perry. Matthew Perry. There it is. All right, we got a couple more pre-written about the channel. So we'll knock them out. 
Yes. Um, I say that. Oh, counting crypto freaks is gone, right? I always thought Cap should just do a top ten episode of Smallville or top twenty five, like another channel. <laughs> I was like, resolve the court, Captain, <laughs> uh, ca Captain, Captain, me, counting. Crypto Freaks is not completely gone. I have a plan for it, but I'm not ready to talk about it yet. Okay, okay. Um, Mysteries! <laughs> here's another one that's near and dear to my heart. See, um, I don't think so either, Noah. I don't think I look like Seth Rogen. This is from 5590ERS. Hey, Cap, what's the status Hi. of Morphin Mania? The status of Morphin Mania is uh, it's on... Uh, uh, semi-permanent hiatus. DJ <laughs> and I, we're, we're killing ourselves watching Power Rangers and randomly talking about it. And I say killing ourselves. We were just spending a lot of time during the week. We loved it. It was so much fun. I miss doing it so much. It is half the reason that DJ is here because I, I was going to really miss hanging out with DJ. Um, and because he's really good at making logos and, he's really, and he looks great in a suit too. I mean, <laughs> seriously, just look at this guy. He looks great in a suit. Um, in fact, I'm going to keep wearing dorky suits because you look better in than I ever will in like a traditional suit. So I'm just going to keep wearing like... Well, suit. I don't know what I'm going to do because I'm repping the Geekvolution purple tonight, but I only have one... Oh, I have two purple ties actually, but I can't keep doing that. So I don't know what I'm going to do. Oh man, we might we might have to do like we might have to do a night where we try to like raise super chat money specifically to buy you ties. <laughs> Please make that a Patreon perk. Or I guess that'd be the opposite of a Patreon. No, perk. we're gonna do that. We're gonna do we're gonna do a night where it's like where it's like we we need we need a hundred dollars in super chats to get GJ ties. That's <laughs> totally what we're gonna do. It's gonna be amazing. Um, Cinemagraphic says I guess Turbo had nothing to do with it. No, it didn't. Um, Turbo, we weren't gonna do all of. Unless we changed it and we went Almighty Morphin Era, which we had talked about, but the pros and cons of that are you don't have to do as much, but you have to talk about Turbo. We have not said definitively for sure that it is dead completely. We may at some point, I want to get rolling on this new model for the channel before I commit to something else on top of what I'm doing right now. And part of the reason I took the the, the channel the channel hiatus just to be uh, totally um, honest with you guys and transparent is uh, I was getting a little bit burnout on stuff. I was, in fact, burnout's not even the, the right way to put it. I was just spread too thin and I couldn't focus enough on what I was doing. I felt like my mind was, was you know, twisted in a hundred different directions and trying to keep track of everything I was reviewing on the omnibus for, you know, eight plus hours sitting in a chair. It was just too much to keep in my brain. And so I was ready for a change. And that's the reason that I took the break and that we're coming back with the hiatus. So uh, we want to do more Morphomania. If we do, it won't be a, a, a criminal and a year thing. It won't be twice a week. It probably won't be six episodes at a time. But I, uh, or if it is, it'll only be one time a week. But it's more likely to be, you know, like three or four. And uh, we'll just kind of let it you know, take its time. Uh, but there wasn't also a whole ton of interest in it. Uh, so I don't want to, you know, shaft other things that people really want to see uh, putting that show out, even though I really miss making it. So, um, but DJ and I are still talking about it. We had a whole phone conversation. We, we had a whole business conversation about Morphomania last week. We did. We did. I really like to, I, I miss doing it. So we'll see some capacity maybe. And by the way, you guys get used to seeing DJ. He is officially on staff now. I mean, he's 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 a mainstay uh, on the channel now. So uh, once again, everybody, please make DJ welcome because uh, he's going to be a big part of making all this work. Somebody asked earlier uh, about Eric. Uh, he's still making stuff with me. He's just not going to be around quite as much as he was before. Um, he'll be on the occasional how we felt about. Uh, he's doing. I got a vault that I just shot with him. We're doing um, After Dark once a month, so he'll be on three to five, six videos a month, you'll see them. Hmm. So probably about a quarter of what we're doing because I'm only going to be putting out 12 to 16 videos a month. Knock on wood. I'm not <laughs> like, I say that. Um, Just this week, there's so much time sensitive stuff. I'm having to put out three how we felt about this week. When I'm saying three to four videos, it's going to be more this week. It's going to be more videos this week than it normally would, but there's a lot of time sensitive stuff that's coming out. Yeah, so. yeah. Carl Maxey in the, in the chat is calling me Kilgrave, so I'll take it. Ooh, I like that. That's cool. cool. DJ Kilgrave. That, that uh, sounds like a really cool radio name. <laughs> I think you already talked about this, but Matthew Bath wants to know if there are any commentaries in the future. DJ Kilgrave in the house. <laughs> um, yes. I just mentioned that next week we'll be doing Spider-Verse. Uh, hopefully is the plan. That is tentative. And I'm going to be trying to put out at least two commentaries a month. At least. And... 
every now and again, DJ will be on one uh, with me. We are talking about doing those sometimes right after the Captain Logan show. So we'll occasionally do a fun marathon night where we'll do the Captain Logan show, and then you can stick around, and then you can watch commentary with us uh, like we used to do with Power Rangers. And sometimes it might even be Power Rangers. <laughs> Maybe so. Oh, we've already done all three movies. So, oh, but it could be like a marathon movie. of episodes. There's no reason like, we can't do stuff like that. That's true. Um, you know why? Because it's my channel. I said so. Gotcha. Yes, sir. Yeah. We, I'm just saying we can do whatever <laughs> we want to, man. You want to go back to, well, let me do one more quick one here. Cap, is there any chance of doing more top tens of animated series? Big yes, thing. absolutely. Uh, some of those shows I would much prefer doing overviews like I did with the 90s Fox Spider-Man show. But, uh, well, actually, I'm sorry. That was also a top 10, but it watched more like... That's why I've been doing more overviews, because those end up watching more like overviews. And then it's like, oh, here's the also these like full reviews of episodes. Let's sit here for an, for an hour and a half. Um, but yeah, I mean, I've done uh, some overview things recently, like Daredevil Season 1 and uh, stuff like that. So I want to do more of that kind of thing with some cartoon shows. But the ones that are more episodic, like Brave and the Bold, would be a top 10 show. Um, even some of the, like, like even you know, DC, uh, AU, Superman, that would be a top 10 show. Because uh, I did that for both. I guess I did that for Batman Beyond and Batman, the, the animated series. So uh, a little bit harder to do that for Unlimited because it's more arky. So I don't know if I would do a top 10 for that, for, for Justice League, especially because the, 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 the original series, the, the first few seasons of Justice League are a bunch of multi-parters. And then when you get into Unlimited, it's more single parters, but it's all one big narrative. So, uh, yeah, I would love to do all of DCAU uniform, but I don't think I can get away with it. Cool, cool. I would like to see, personally, Spectacular Spider-Man and Earth's Mightiest Heroes, but that's just me. No, Carl Maxi, I'm not everybody's boss now. I'm just DJ's boss because <laughs> he's doing stuff on the chat. That's it. Not every, I'm not your boss. I don't think. Maybe. <laughs> we just got a... <laughs> Sorry, go ahead. No, no, go ahead. We just got a super chat yeah. related to the channel. When are you doing reviews for Telltale's Batman? And that is from, sorry. Um, two dollars super chat from Webmaster Forty Seven. Thank you for your donation. Um, eventually, I don't. I don't have a, <laughs> I don't have a good answer for that. Uh, those things with rewinds are complicated, really complicated. And I have a couple of very complicated things in the uh, in in the in the queue at the moment that I'm gonna have to start working on soon, or it's gonna get into Christmas. And I feel like we just did that. <laughs> All right, I mean, we... just says cap. Bull. <laughs> <laughs> all right should we should we wrap up the the channel and go to Let's regular do that time? yeah dj was there anything major that i missed that you wanted to make sure and bring up and talk about um i don't think so I think stuff we've talked we about covered it um yeah you comic fall crypto, crypto freaks yeah yeah i think you got it are you are you excited dj i'm excited uh the all new all different geek pollution also, let's all marvel at DJ's new DVD shelves, shall, shall we? That's <laughs> fantastic. You made those custom nuts, yeah? I'll just step aside. Yeah, yeah. It was uh, it's really nice. They got the uh, the storage on the bottom with the bench where I read to my son and all kinds of good stuff. I got to fill them up, though. I have a lot I more I was going to say, now. you look like me now. I've also got space to grow now. Look at this back here. Look, look, look at the... The uh, the the superhero TV shelf back here. Uh, this used to be all of my uh, superhero movies, the superhero comic book movie collection, and now it's just TV. And I've got these big gaps now. It's yeah. great. I don't remember what gaps were like. The uh, the movie collection itself is now in my normal back backdrop. You know what? That's not going to work. I'm just going to pick this up. But it's back here now. Yeah. And you've already seen it on a couple of videos if you've watched recent stuff that we've put out. And once again, that has got some space to grow as well. And I don't know if you have this because I'm such a collector. When I see a space like that, my first thought is, yay, space. <laughs> my second thought is, I got to fill it. <laughs> yeah, I, I can see that. I, I'm kind of the same way. I'm bad about that. But yeah. And you still got your color coordination going. Yes, always. Can't lose that. That's my signature calling card. All right, DJ, who else do we have on the phone? <laughs> All right. Calling in from somewhere in probably the there. United States is <laughs> Roger Lee. We'll jump back to him uh, with a $5 super chat. Thank you so much. Captain Logan, being the writer that you are and being so ingrained in comic book culture, have you ever thought about writing a comic of your own? 
Yes, I just need uh, a, an, an artist, honestly. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I'd love to, to do that. Um, I have started a couple projects here and there with people that ended up falling through, but uh, I just got to find somebody that's really confident in their sequential art and is fast enough to get something out that won't take us two years to make. I don't know what exactly it would be. It would be um, at one time I I kicked around like an old man Captain Logan comic. I always thought that'd be really funny. <laughs> I'm down. It was like Captain Logan from the future comes back to stop a bunch of really crappy superhero movies from getting made. Like somehow bad superhero movies ruin the future. There's like it, it's it's not like. It, like like uh, it ruins cinematic history it like ruins the actual history like somehow the apocalypse is tied to crappy superhero movies and i have to go back and and make the bad superhero movies stop uh that's as far as i got with that premise but i thought that'd be fun <laughs> yeah anyway <laughs> so yes this is definitely a thing i've considered uh what else have we got dj we have a super chat from thomas edshill uh five dollar super chat my hey, thanks for all the support guys we sure appreciate it this isn't really a question. Oh, yeah, here we go. We got a question in the second part. Uh, my kid looked at the screen and asked, who's that guy? Is that that man? <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. No, um, whenever I wear this, I have to uh, break down the difference between a bat suit and a bat suit. <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, but yeah, that's hilarious. I was Batman on Saturday, and uh, I, I wore my bat suit to that uh, sidewalk sale just to d draw uh, attention. And you know, it was like it, it was like sprinkling all day. It was like real ominous in the sky. We didn't have a huge crowd, but uh, every kid that was there came up and wanted to want to see Batman. That was fun. I really enjoyed that. I wish I was taller because because it would be more like an actual Batman experience. But I guess for those kids, I seem tall enough. But uh, yeah, it was great. Um, and yeah, I'm, we're going to do more of that. We're going to do that like once a month. I'm going to put on my bat suit. I'm going to go to the go to flea market, to the booth. Oh, oh, real quick. I'm sorry. You said you said that was two parts, right? Yes, sir. Hey, throw me the second part, and then I'm going to show you guys something. He is this very vague, um, so just take, take it and run with it. Uh, All right. What are you looking most forward to about this year? Your channel is awesome. About this year? Um, well, Endgame is come and gone. And, uh, of course, I enjoy that quite a bit. Um, Ninja Turtles Batman just came out on digital. I, I've been really stoked about that. Uh, that just came out on digital. We're not reviewing it until it comes out on disc, because that's how we always do that. And I want to say it's it's coming to DC Universe uh, simultaneous with disc, because they've been doing that with those releases. But I don't know if that one specifically, because it's a crossover. Although, the Ninja Turtles Batman comic crossovers just came to, to DC Universe. So, probably... Anyway, so we haven't done that yet, but I'm really looking forward to that. But that's actually already out. So I'm trying, I'm, and the DS9 documentary is already out. We just reviewed that. That I was also really super excited about. So most of the stuff that I was really jazzed about happened already. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Uh, Dark Phoenix, I just can't get it soaked about. Um, hope it doesn't suck. Uh, Spider-Man's in a couple weeks. That's exciting. Or is it a month? I don't know. It's coming. It's on its way Some at some point this summer. Um, we already had Detective Pikachu, which I didn't care about. Then I saw it and I liked it. So that's, that was good. Um, yeah, I don't know. Can, DJ, can you, does anything strike you where you're like, I like, like, I'm so stoked. I can't wait for this thing to happen. No, uh, like movie related or just, yeah, just anything happening, coming out, like things you're excited about for the, for this year. Have you met Godzilla? No, huh? That's kind of cool. Yeah, that's cool. I mean, I'm not, obviously, Eric can't wait, but, yeah. um, and Jason can't wait. He's losing his mind about Godzilla. Okay, okay I want to show you guys something real quick. Eric sent me this right before the show, and I was like, you gotta let me show this on the show. And he was like, well, I just found it on a Reddit thread. So, yeah, sure, wh whatever. <laughs> um, so, uh, let me screen share this real quick. <laughs> you guys, you guys are going to love this. This is very funny. Um, if I can figure out how to do this. Yes, indeed. There's the screen share. Okay, check this out. Sonic Roleplay Club. Starts at 2.30 in the parking lot behind the school. Free entry. The only rule is that you can't be Sonic. I already chose him, so you have to pick somebody else. That's pretty awesome. Isn't that great? That cracks me up. Okay, DJ, what else? Let's do, uh, you got any good pre-written stuff before we get back to Super Chats? Yeah, yeah, let's hop over there for a second. Um... Do you think DC Comics is entering a new golden age in terms of their shows and movies? Um, I think it's entering into a likable age. 
<laughs> um, where I can actually take some of their content seriously and not wonder what everyone is smoking. Uh, I don't want to say golden age yet. Uh, still a lot of hit and miss, uh, especially on television. I think Titans is awful. I cannot bring myself to care about the CW stuff these days. So, I mean, like, if you look at the sheer percentage of what's coming out on screen right now, yeah, the last couple movies I've liked, okay. But who knows if that track record will continue and who knows if Warners will stay the course because if they have a dud, they're likely to still, you know, turn tail and run the other way. Although I want to think that after a few successes, they won't do that. I want to think they can weather the storm of a crappy one, especially because it's not, I know I'm a broken record on this, but especially because if they're not really doing a shared universe anymore, one movie doesn't necessarily have to spoil the whole pot because they're not all interconnected and it's not one big grand vision. The big grand vision right now is, let directors make movies, which is exactly what it should be right now. If they couldn't make the multiverse, they're in the multiverse. If they couldn't make the shared universe thing actually cohesive and get people to care about that. So I, I want to think that they will actually stay the course, even if, say, Joker doesn't perform or something. But yeah, premature to say Golden Age. Um, was also premature to say disaster at BVS. You know what I mean? Like people tend to really jump the gun on mm -hmm. stuff and they want to start labeling stuff and i'm like guys yeah it is starting to feel like the real world is moving internet time but let's all do our part to make sure that doesn't happen shall we that's uh that's my psa for today okay what next here's an interesting question kind of about the channel so um if you could type well it's an interesting statement. We're going to have to, not only are you going to have to come up with an answer for this question, you're going to have to come up with the rest of the question because we just have an introductory question. sounds like a hitchhiker sort of thing, you know? It's like, we can go, I can give you the answer, but I don't know what the question is. Here is the uh, introductory <laughs> clause to this question. If you All could right. time travel to different years of Geekvolution like they did in Endgame, and that is all. Oh, then just fill in the way. Wow, it's like a choose your own adventure. You know? um, <laughs> wow, I, I I want I want to rewrite that to a what if <laughs> you could time travel. Um, if I could, I love that as, as just a big giant blank. What if I could time travel to any period where, where I'm like the stone is here and I gotta go get it? Especially, I think it's important. And by the way, end game spoilers. End game spoilers. <laughs> yes, it's time travel in right. that movie. And they go, I'm sorry, what? Nothing. Just I, two. Did I blow out your headphones? <laughs> no. <laughs> you had this reaction like, mm -hmm. Just spoilers still gets to me, even though I've seen the movie. Just, I should. It's been out a few weeks. I don't know when we can't, do I like, like when it's okay to start talking about the thing. Like, yeah, I think it's fine. Just give a warning. I did. I did. I flashed it and everything. We should have like a graphic for it. Yeah, I'll, I'll get right on it. <laughs> uh, put 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 spoiler from the comics in the spoiler warning. Um, okay, so I wouldn't be the first person who did it. Probably not. But I also would be care. the last. I don't know what that means. Okay, so um, wow. Any period in Geek Solutions history where I could go back, mm, I'm sentimental. You know what it's you know what I'm gonna have to say? It's the red carpet premiere for Spawn Year. Mm. And it's funny because that's channel history, but you guys didn't get to see a lot of the actual event. Like I think in the special features, um, I there, there's a making spawn year featurette and i think i have footage from the red carpet there uh, a little bit we didn't shoot a whole lot um, i wish we'd shot more from that i actually wore the spawn suit outside greeting people as they got here uh i wish i'd shot some of that we did some really cool stuff we had an i called it a red carpet premiere we had 20 or 30 people here we had a red carpet we put it out in front of, i mean we, we we had lights outside all of our neighbors were wondering what the hell was going on especially because i was wearing this big 10 pound latex spawn suit it was also really hot um, um, but anyway, so we did that, and uh, it was just wonderful, and Tim Lyons was there, and he was sitting in the back row, and I expected him to give me like a thousand criticisms because he's real critical of, uh, or he was real critical of, um, of, of uh, you know, video production, and it, we got to the end of it, and he didn't have a lot to say, and that just made me so excited and proud of myself and it was it was a big it was a big deal it was a big night um so yeah that's what i would have to say uh if i could go back to any day it'd be it'd be this one year premiere it was it was the best awesome um for those of you who have been here on the channel for a while the pop culture yearbook was a show that captain manos did if you ever went to 2019 and i don't know if you ever did a show on 2019 but it'd be great if you went back to that moment and actually told them what 2019 was like 
Yeah. Yeah, good call. Um, I missed that show. That was a whole lot of fun to do. Yeah, go um, check it out, guys, if you haven't seen it. It's a lot of fun. I wouldn't, I wouldn't bring it back now without Manos, and uh, <laughs> I decided a long time ago to uh, quit doing that show, but uh, it was fun. I, I miss it. Okay, what else? Yeah, a whole lot of stuff in the, in the archives, a whole lot of folks that uh, used to be with us regularly that have gone on to other things, to greener pastures that aren't with us anymore. Um, I'm going to start getting a little sappy here <laughs> in a second, so we, we're going to have to move on, but yeah, go ahead. Let me let me go ahead and cancel the sap right away. Wait. Ten years is a long time. You gonna slap me in the face? No, I'm gonna get, well, kind of. Uh, here's a super chat from Pandora. What can, when can we expect Teen Wolf spoiler cast? I mean, I just when you when you said kind of, I'm like, I love when people pay me money to try to piss me off. It's the best. I'm not saying that's what that was, but no. I was hoping the next thing would just be like Captain Logan, you jerk face. I hate you. Here's five bucks. <laughs> Just to have that red. I've had that before where people will be like super, super critical. I don't think like really angry, but just like, Cap, here's this thing you didn't like. Or here's the thing you didn't you did that I didn't like. <laughs> Pay you money. Can you talk about it? Um, yeah, I don't know. I, I I've I've brought this, I mean, this has been brought up in super chats like a bazillion times. Um, I just didn't like the the second season I got halfway th into it. I didn't, I didn't care for it. I don't want to keep talking about it. And um, I've streamlined things to the point now where I'm not doing off the cuff discussions on uh, stuff like that as much. Like I might occasionally do how we felt about it on something older, but most of the time that's going to be newer things that have wrapped up uh, and everything else is going to be on rewinds. And so um, I know folks would like me to do a whole lot more than I'm going to be able to do, but it's going to be smarter in the long run for the channel. It's going to be better for my brain. And the material that we're putting out will, I want to say, be a lot better. So um, I'm sorry for disappointing the Team Wolf fans. I know we've got a few people that really wanted me to do more of that, but um, I just don't. I just don't think it's in the cards right now. Okay, uh, what else, sir? Got a super chat from Magpie's Nest Productions. Thanks, Magpie. Good to see you, man. Uh, is the writers' group still happening? Another yes, it, it is, and I have, and I'm sorry, I've not set up a date yet for the next one. We're gonna try to do that right at the beginning of next month. Uh, and also, I should mention to the few. First of all, before I even talk to the writers in the audience, let me say that I, uh, when we bring back the writers' group, I would love to see some new faces. I, uh, you, and we're doing it the same way we did before. So at the ten dollar tier on Patreon, one of the optional uh, perks there is to be part of the creative, the Geeflution Creative Writing Workshop, and that allows you to have have your uh, to, to have your short stories or chapters of an ongoing novel critiqued by myself and a group. I provide written critiques and we give you a lot of pointers and we help you to uh, try to refine your writing skills and to make every aspect of your writing uh, better. And we talk a whole lot about um, we talk a whole lot about uh, literary fiction there and what, what literary fiction is versus other kinds of fiction. And we talk about what I like to call literary genre fiction, where you can do both at the same time. You can write a science fiction story, but it can be character driven. It can have a protagonist who uh, is trying to accomplish something and through the uh, adversities of going through that experience has some sort of an opportunity for change, has a character arc, and uh, you you don't have to just write uh, like 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 a um, kind of a kind of a non-story kind of just uh, you know some stuff happens to a character and they accomplish something but they don't change in any way through it just because it's genre and that's a lot of what we talk about in that group um, so consider coming to join us if you're writing anything or if you want to uh, get into writing and uh, it is a very no pressure group these guys have all been uh, extremely um, kind and fair and but critical i uh, like people don't pull their punches too much in that group and when they do i let them know it uh, i'm like no guys we can uh, we we can respectfully criticize people's writing that's what they're here for and they need to hear uh, from us about the things that are not working about their work uh, everybody is really deeply respectful in that group but everybody wants to make everybody better everybody does make everybody better um there's not one person who hasn't improved in that group and i've been so impressed with it, uh, those guys have just delighted me uh, in their in their writing and their creativity, but especially in the workshopping. And uh, everybody has told me, everybody that's been in there in that group has told me that they've gotten something out of it, which uh, does does my heart. Uh, proud. I'm so happy uh, about how that's gone. So uh, we have room for more for more folks. We'd love to fill in some more spots. Uh, so consider doing that. And um, once again, a real no pressure group. I mean, we'll tell you what we think is working and not working about your writing, but um, people are not... Um, 
people are not mean or vicious or uh or anything like that in that group so check it out uh yeah so uh beginning of next month and i'll try to get a date out for that real soon uh dj do you see any other super chats at the moment well that was an amazing segue um that you just did to david crabtree's ten dollar super chat thank you david yeah <laughs> he says cap and dj aren't exaggerating how great the superhero secret superhero screen society is um awesome experience so far great discussions spirited yet respectful debate and a place to shame my sophisticated humor oh share sorry i read that wrong <laughs> share my sophisticated humor that was totally well he's not coming back now um <laughs> sorry david uh my I, I have lights in my eyes and i'm starting to lose my vision yeah, uh, I don't have anything to add to that. Thanks so much for the super chat. Um, the that group is that that group has just been absolutely wonderful, um, and it's made me think up think differently about a lot of uh, about a lot of things with superhero movies. And uh, I feel like we've already like I keep worrying DJ that we're going to run out of material. I, every time somebody asks something, I'm like, you should save that for a while because we're going to ask everything there is to ask. Uh, but we haven't run out yet, and uh, yeah, um, it's hard to say if it will remain as active as it has been, I, I hope that it will. And if we get some new takers in there, it certainly will. Once again, um, not to keep plugging this, but since it came up again, uh, that's just five bucks a month on Patreon. And uh, again, that also gives you the opportunity to have your voice heard in rewinds. Uh, so yeah, check that out. Okay, what else? Uh, we got another super chat um, from Mr. Roboto. Cap. Yes. Where did the giant penny go? I never had a giant penny. Didn't go anywhere. <laughs> I would love one, but I, I've never found one. I've never found a giant penny to put in the bag. And I don't have a dinosaur either. True. Yeah. I need a giant animatronic dinosaur that will fit in a room with a ceiling that is barely seven feet. So, yeah. Uh, you know, I'm very surprised. We've got about 10 minutes left in the show mm -hmm. that we have not seen a whole lot in the way of news questions. And I've not been on the channel for two months, and so much has happened. And I expected people to bring up the Sonic trailer and uh, yeah, you got Watchmen it. and all kinds of stuff. And uh, people haven't brought any of that stuff up. Or if they have, DJ has missed it. Oh, we've um, got a couple uh, in the pre-written. I'll go ahead and jump over there first. Yeah, let's do some of that, shall we? Because I know some folks are going to be disappointed if we don't talk about any of that. And also, um, but I'm surprised that we haven't seen any of that with the super chats. Yeah. Uh, it's just really interesting. I'm not criticizing. I'm just surprised by that. Yeah. Oh, here we go. Big one. Thoughts on rise of Skywalker trailer. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. Um, I don't want to disappoint anybody. I got, I got not a lot of thoughts. I mean, do you, do you have this kind of thing? Like, like I do DJ where, okay. So I can be really conflicted where a nostalgic thing happens that is designed to make me go yay more of the same. And I want to resist that to a degree and say, yeah, but we had Palpatine in like 75% of Star Wars movies. Uh, why do we need to keep going back to the well and doing that? And also, uh, I think my knee-jerk reaction with that, my knee-jerk reaction was, oh, cool. And then I thought about it and I was like, yeah, because, because he was one of the only really actually super fun things in the prequels. And he had like personality and he wasn't like a, a plank of wood. And so that was really exciting there. Um, but it's not all planks of wood in the current franchise. So even though I didn't like Last Jedi that much, I can't be like, oh, good. He's going to come in and spice it up and make it actually like exciting and fun again. It's like, that's not really the problem with them. I just didn't think that movie made a lot of sense. It didn't pay off things that I wanted to see from the previous film. I know everybody doesn't agree with that. That's just how I still feel about it. Okay. So that's what I'm saying. Anyway, so, so um, with, I can't get you, DJ. You're all the way in another state. No, I'm just staying out of this conversation. Oh, I thought you were like, no, don't spit on me, bro. <laughs> And I'm like, well, that yeah, would call Captain Logan bro all the time. Quite the, um, quite the feat. Yeah. But anyway, so, um, so like, it's not like that, but, um, my worry is it's JJ Abrams and he does have a tendency to kind of repeat himself. And even though I really took up for force awakens, cause we didn't have the rest of it yet that as a piece. Yes. Yes, absolutely. It is kind of just mirroring things and, um, repeating things and going, I remember when this happened. Well, now it's like, remember the emperor. Yeah, I, I do. I do remember the emperor. You know what I mean? Cool. Snoke got anything to do. That would have been cool. It's like we get rid of Snoke and now we get just the previous emperor. Okay. Um, 
maybe it will be more interesting than that. I, you know, I'm hoping. But um, yeah, uh, I mean, it looks good. I guess there's like this. Um, and by looks good, I mean, you know, the production values always look good. Uh, it, it, it looks like, and I still love Ray. I do. I do. I do love Ray. Um, I think there's this prerequisite with Star Wars trailers where they must open with desert. <laughs> like, I think that's just, this has, this has to, they have to. Carl Maxey says, search your feelings, Captain Logan. You know it to be true. You know it to be true. Um, and also there's that fear. I just thought of this. There's that, there's that fear of if, that, that, that Skywalker, that Luke Skywalker line. Um, no, nobody, nobody's ever really gone. So that fear of like, okay, well then like, who cares? You know, it's like everybody dies, but nobody actually really dies. And okay. I mean, there's some kind of cool thematic crux to that. I don't know what that would be, but that could be really interesting. But I mean, like you've gotten the sense in other Star Wars films that uh, eventually, force ghosts move on that like they're they're in some kind of a limbo and after a while they they, they move on but then yoda shows back up in last jedi you know like, oh i guess that isn't what happens and uh i don't know i'm i'm, I'm almost expecting like a large gaggle of force ghosts <laughs> in in uh, rise of the skywalker just all hanging around like drinking mai tais and stuff you know you got like qui-gon jinn's there and uh you know he's it, he's like uh it's like a flaming corpse, but he's there and he's drinking Mai Tais. And I don't know. Um, is it just going to be like a who's who? Like, remember that guy? Yeah, I do. I own all the films. I can watch them. But then there is, again, still that. Sorry. There is still that voice in the back of my head, though. It's like, ah, it'll be cool to see him again, though. So I get a little conflicted about that kind of thing. Another uh, quick news item. Um, I mean, <laughs> Uncle C says Anakin was right about sand. <laughs> That's true. Okay. Um, from anonymous kaiju, are you gonna do a few? Or how we felt about on the Batman uh, versus Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Yes, of course, that? absolutely. Yeah, Eric and I are looking forward to it. We're planning on doing that. Cool, cool. Mm -hmm. um, thoughts on Child's Play reboot? Oh boy. Um, there. Okay, so. <sighs> This is where I question my convictions because I don't want to go, but I do want to go. I want to sometimes be the kind of person that can say, I won't support this with my money. This shouldn't be happening. The original creators have been screwed. Uh, it's not right. It shouldn't happen. And I should not give it my money. And neither, neither should anybody else who cares about the franchise or cares about the people that are behind it. Now, I, that is not to say that, I, that, that I'm worried about the tainting of the Child's Play franchise. That is not what I'm talking about. But uh, it is kind of sorry how the guy who created Child's Play got screwed on this. Uh, because this is being put out at the same time as he is making a TV show. And that TV show, uh, in his original canon, that TV show is still happening. And I'm kind of excited about it. I've liked his last two movies. Uh, they are bizarre and absurd and insane and a lot of fun. I enjoyed them a lot. Um, I grew up with Child's Play, which is a horrible thing to say. At 10 years old, I saw the first two of those movies. Those are not things to watch when you're 10, but I did. And my dad let me watch them. Um, thanks, Dad. I guess. Uh, it was formative. It made me partly the man that I am today. And I really liked them for whatever reason. They were my first big horror films besides Poltergeist. And I've always had kind of a, kind of a little special place in my heart for the Child's Play movies. Um, I saw the trailer and I think it looks really good, but I don't think it should exist. And again, it just wasn't fair to him because uh, they offered to let him consult on it, but they insisted on making it and they didn't give him any kind of like, uh, you know, like, uh, what, what do you, what do you call it? Like, like, uh, he, he wasn't allowed to uh, sign like script sign off or anything. He, he wasn't, he wasn't, you know, offered any of that. And, you know, it was his baby and I get that they own it and I get that they can do whatever they want to. And that's fine to a degree. It wouldn't be as big of a deal if it weren't for the fact that he's making a TV show that's coming out not too long from now and they're trying to overshadow it with this other thing. I don't think that's fair and I don't think they should have done it. And none of the original cast um, is uh, happy with the studio for doing that. But at the same time, it kind of looks good. I'm curious about 
um, about Mark Hamill, who's who's voicing Chucky. Although I wouldn't have gone with somebody with such a recognizable voice because uh, his laugh sounds kind of just like a Joker laugh, like you would expect it to. Uh, Mark Hamill has two modes. He can be Luke Skywalker, or he can do the, or he can be the Joker. When you when you go in and you listen to uh, his Hobgoblin from the '90s animated uh, Spider-Man series, it's just a Joker voice, uh, and it's great. But he's just doing the Joker again. Uh, it's a slight modulation, slightly different, but it's the same thing. Uh, when he did uh, when he did the Flash, his um, his I can't think of his name. His villain in that um, is is uh, is just the, is is basically the Joker. He's got a Joker voice. So anyway, um, yeah, I, it's difficult as a reviewer because if I was just seeing stuff, I'd be like, uh, uh-uh, I'm not going. But I've reviewed the Child's Play movies on the channel, and there's a few people that are going to be curious to know what I think of that. I feel the same way about Sonic to a degree where it's like I don't want to support that movie. I think it looks awful. It's not what they should have made. It doesn't look like they care about that that uh that material at all like they don't they're not trusting that material i don't want to see that it's not for me if people end up liking it more power to them i don't want to see it but i keep talking about it so people are going to want me to talk about that movie and so it's gonna be really hard not to go so um there, there's like a personal and professional side of my brain that or yeah, loggerheads <laughs> trickster thank you i couldn't think of it so anyway uh what? We got a few more super chats we have to knock out here. Okay, DJ, let's go ahead and blow through those. How many do we have? Oh, I think about three, a few. Okay, are, DJ, are you good for like ten minutes? Yeah, yeah, I'm fine. I'm fine. Is, is that cool? Okay, we're gonna do. Uh, we're gonna do ten more minutes, and um, wherever we are there, unless there's another super chat or two that we have to knock out, we will knock them out as fast as possible. We'll talk this fast, and nobody will be able to tell what the heck I'm talking about. And then we're gonna end the show. So let's go ahead and knock out the rest of the super chats go ahead all right uh five dollar super chat from malik myers reborn thank you malik we have when can we expect a how we felt about for the umbrella academy Ooh, good question uh dj are you interested i love that show i will talk about it anytime but i do want to do a rewatch have you watched it yet I have not watched it yet. So if you want to do a rewatch, you and I could coordinate our rewatches and okay. we could have a plan for when we're going to both have that watched and talk about it. Uh, why don't Why don't we just say tentatively, yeah, DJ and I will do how we felt about it on that. I would really like to watch yeah. that show. Sure. Is that cool with you? We can maybe knock that out one night after one of these. Yeah, sounds good. Okay, cool. What, what do you think? Maybe a few weeks, three weeks, month? Uh, yeah, it's not too long. I think it's only eight episodes or maybe ten. Yeah, but I can do maybe? that inside of a couple weeks. Sure. Yeah. So, yeah, let's just play it by ear. And when we both have it knocked out, we'll do it here. Sweet. We'll do it after here. Thank you, Malik. And thank you guys for tuning in to the Geek Evolution uh, work meeting. So, somebody said, uh, to be fair, not even, yeah, uh, Roboter is 100. To be fair, not even Sega cares about Sonic. That is true, and that is part of the problem. But I digress. Okay, go ahead. Uh, we have a $5 super chat from Tyler Parker. Thank you, Tyler. Is there a fifty or sixty dollar Patreon tier I could join for Teen Wolf spoiler casts? Um, no, <laughs> not not right now. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. I I just I really don't want to keep talking about that show because I'm gonna make the people that like that show unhappy, and nobody else is gonna care. And um, yeah. So I'm sorry about the Teen Wolf thing right now. I really am. Uh, I may consider it down the road, especially at the moment. I've got to focus on the major stuff. I really do. Um, okay. All right. Let's keep going. Thank you for the super chat. I'm yeah. sorry to be disappointing. Here's a two I'm trying to whisper so that only me and that person can okay. hear, but I don't think that's how the internet works. I'll stay out of it for a second. Yeah. Thanks, DJ. Okay. Did you? Is everybody good? Okay, let's move on. Mr. Roboto. I mean, Mr. Roboto, $2. Yeah. Could we get a direct-to-video D-Spirit sequel, maybe? I'm assuming it's talking about the spirit? Um, no. I don't know. What I, even even a direct-to-video thing, even on a $5.99 budget, that would never happen. There was just so little interest and especially so little uh, you know, people liking that movie. So yeah, no. No, that would never happen. I can see another. Hey, Duke's here. Hello, hey. Duke. I haven't talked to you in a long time. Duke, we invited you to the secret society. Where have you been? I'm trying to get him in there. Yeah, man, come talk to us. I don't us. think he joined it. If he did, I've never seen him post. If he has posted, I'm sorry. I don't remember your post. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he's not in there. Um, But anyway, I miss you, Duke. 
Duke, you gotta Duke's yawning again. He always does this. He always pops in, he yawns. It always makes me think that he's bored with whatever I'm talking about. I don't even think that's why he says that. I think he's just tired. He just said, I'm tired. You know what? Honestly, the first few times he did that, I got I got annoyed about it. I was like, God, Duke, I'm sorry you don't care about what I'm talking about, okay? I'm sorry. It wasn't that at all. I apologize. <laughs> he was just tired. <laughs> um, I miss Duke. Duke, you got to come in and do some commentaries, buddy. We miss you. You have a really great eclectic sense of humor, and you're funnier than me, which I'll never forgive you for, but you are. Yes, he's funnier than me. Okay. Um, what were we talking about? Uh, nothing, I'll, but I'll, uh, I'll set something up for you here. Excuse me, Secretary, what were we talking about? <laughs> Pretty sure you can just direct him to another video with this question. He says he's in my head. It's like, I'm in Cap's head. Dude, get out of my head! Okay, I'm sorry, what? We have a super chat. Cool. One more super chat, last one. From GameGuy1210. Did you like Glass? <laughs> no, and uh, you can see my how how we felt about where I talked about all the stuff that doesn't make sense in that movie, uh, especially weird stuff that we got in Split, and also about how nobody acts like a real person in that movie, and about how it has a triple twist that's preposterous, and uh, how I probably would have got up and left if I wasn't reviewing it. Uh, it's bad. I don't like it. I know some people like it. That's totally cool. I'm glad you enjoyed it. I did not. It did not work for me. It did not. Okay, go ahead. That's it. That's all the super chats. Uh, you want to do maybe one more? Everything? My goodness. Yeah. We were moving pretty quick tonight. Duke just roll. Wrote, yeah, Duke, Duke just wrote uh, in all caps, we should totally do that commentary thing or whatnot. Yeah, we should. Well, hey, we've got just a few more minutes from what I promised everybody. So uh, can you give us another couple pre-written? I know there's more stuff in there. There's yeah. got more stuff in there. Here's a good... Uh, no, it says glass shattered me. I'm going to put that on the box. Glass. And I could see that being almost a positive if spun the right way. You know what I mean? Like, oh man, it just got me in such a place. I is I left the theater and like all oh, in in emotional turmoil. You know, if I said Logan shattered me, you'd be like, Yeah, that was a good movie. If I say glass shattered me, you're like, Ooh, that was not a good movie. They had the exact same sentence with different um, 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 topics. Oh, yeah. you, now, vamped, you vamped enough, and now we have another super chat. Subjects, yeah, that's why I do that. I just, you know, then your nerd in with the two dollar super chat. Oh. I think this happens, and I don't do it on purpose. I'm pretending like I think this happens. I think I will sit here and I'll, and I'll, I'll like get stuck in a word, and I'm just like, and then somebody goes, Oh my god, get him off that. <laughs> so they just shoot you some money to, to shut you up, yeah, and then I'm like. Oh, good! A super chat moving right along. <laughs> Damn. So here it is. Thoughts? Now I want to watch the Muppet movie. Have you ever seen the Muppet movie? Uh, which one? The original, the Muppet movie. I have not. What? We gotta. That'd be a fun commentary, actually. Uh, there's a place where they get to a fork in the road, and there is a literal fork in the road. It's great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You gotta watch it. I think you like that movie. I'm, 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 I'm not cut off with my Muppets. Uh, man, jeez, what a youngin! Yeah, it was before my time, man. It was. It was before your time. All right, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, number two dollar super. Number two, anyway. <laughs> ah, the number five dollar super chat. Go ahead. Number thoughts, two thoughts of five Avatar sequels. What? what? Yeah. So this whole thing is crazy. Um. I don't want to make any predictions because I tend to be wrong, except when I'm right. And then when I'm right, I'm like, told you so. And then when I'm wrong, I'm like, yeah, that's, that's not what I predicted. But look, I got this other thing, right? So with Avatar, I want to say they're not going to perform huge, giant, crazy guns. They, they'll, they'll do okay, but that ship has sailed, is what I want to say. I want to say, it's just not the big, giant phenomenon that it was. You don't have as many people who, like, stuck with, like, the language and, like, surgically altering themselves to look like the aliens from that movie and whatever. Um, We're kind of past giving a crap about CG. That's what I want to say. But what I'm concerned will happen is that all of a sudden, it'll be 2009, 2010 again, whenever the heck that came out. 2008. No, it was later than that. What, nine or 10. Um, when that came out, and it's going to be like, 
<laughs> he's got it. Um, ah, you spent money on that movie? Yeah, no, I didn't actually. I had not seen it until last year. My boss gave it to me and said, you have to watch this. And I watched it and I was like, eh. I oh, know. I just don't like it. That's the other thing is you're going to have this big franchise and people are going to want me to review it. And I will I will try a sequel. I hope I like it better than the original. I didn't. I just didn't care for that movie. And so anyway, um, so I'm going to deal with like the Navi and stuff again. And I'm just like, I don't, I don't care. But uh, it is possible that the whole culture will revert back to 10 years ago. And that was a big freaking deal. And a bunch of people will come out of the woodwork and be like, I thought I didn't care about this anymore, but now I'm a big, giant, crazy super fan again because it's because it's a big deal again. It's back, and now I care about C about, about uh, you know you know pushing the envelopes to CG again, and now I now I care about the Navi, and um <laughs> now 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 I'm gonna act like it's the first time anybody's ever done an environmental message in a film again. You know, like I'm just, I'm really worried that we're gonna get back to that, and uh, I don't want to live in that world. I didn't like that world. I remember that world, and it was unfortunate. And I. I I don't want to accuse anyone of anything, okay? But I, you know where I'm going with this, don't you, DJ? Yeah. But, but, when I, but, but, but it did feel a little bit like people were kind of handicap ist against me, okay? <laughs> because uh, I have a handicap, and I've been for uh, years. In fact, um, I should repost the, the the thing I the the the, uh, the, the PSA I made. Um, I way back at when I started the channel, it was 09 or, or 2010. Um, I should post it on Facebook. I'll do that tonight. Remind me. I'll do that tonight. I'll, I'll, I'll post it on social media. Um, I did a whole thing about how the government should give me a parking placard because I can't see in 3D, and someday all the signs might be in 3D and I won't be able to see them. Uh, we're 10 years ahead, and that hasn't happened yet, but it's possible, you know. And I don't want that to happen. You know, what if they were magic eye puzzles? Because I can't, uh, you know, um, I can't cross my eyes and see the picture in the magic eye puzzles and so then if all the signs were magic eye puzzles then i wouldn't be able to see them and that's handicap is against me see um and i felt like that with avatar where people told me well you haven't really seen avatar until you've seen it in 3d and i said well i guess i'll never see avatar because i can't see it in 3d uh my eyes don't work together they don't work that way um i have a lazy eye a lot of you guys have noticed this see my eye goes off like that because i have a lazy eye and i can like i can like flip like my dominant eye like that it's kind of freaky and that's why I have this handicap. And so I don't want more Avatar movies where everybody is like, you haven't seen it unless you've seen it in 3D. So I'm not looking forward to that. Uh, apparently they're, they're making the first three all at once. And then they won't make the next one. They won't make five if the first new three don't do well. So that's what I've heard. They're going to big anyway. gamble there. <sighs> oh, we got a couple more Super Chats here rolling in. This is just a statement from Bag Studio. <laughs> you can't even see it in CG. Did I say CG? No, you I said, said 3D. I said 3D, right? You're right. I can see CG. It's true. I don't, <laughs> I don't have this amazing handicap. Right? Wouldn't that be crazy where just everything's invisible if it's in CG? It's like, <laughs> I don't think they integrated that very well. It doesn't even look like it's there. It's like, no, no, Cap, what you're describing is Uncanny Valley. No, literally, there's nothing there. You just see Andy Serkis in like a ball suit walking around. <laughs> yeah, for me, I've had to see a couple of movies in 3D before because it was like the only showing I could get into. And that is paying extra for 30% of the uh, uh, um, of the lighting, like uh, like of the brightness. So like you you are to, to drop 30% of the brightness. So you, you're, you're watching 70% of the brightness and you're paying $5 more. Here we go. This is a great comment, uh, Super Chat. From Bag Studios. Good to have you back, Cap. The new rewind was great. So a little tease there for the rest of the Yeah, I should mention thanks, oh. Bag Studios. I really appreciate it, man. Uh Bag was helping me out. Bag. That's just his name now. <laughs> thanks, Bag. Bag Studios. Justin, he was helping me out. Um a, f a few months ago with uh, a couple of rewinds where we tried an experiment where we were going to make the visual rewinds a Patreon perk. You know, I said earlier rewind. I didn't even talk about the new format. I'm just, I'm just, I'm just not good at this. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, I, I didn't talk about the new format. He was, he was helping me uh, do stills and do uh, a visual version of the rewinds as a Patreon perk. And we tried that a couple times and a few, uh, we got a few new patrons over it, but not a lot of people watched those. And it was way too much of his time for what little we were doing. So I backed off on that and I decided finally, you know what? I'm just going to bite the bullet and I'm going to bring back visuals on rewind. And I'm going to hope against hope that I can get away with it and not get copyright flagged too much. 
and I'm going to try some new strategies uh, to get around that. And um, it's going to be hit and miss. The, the, first, uh, the, the first version I made got flagged immediately and uh, was blocked in three countries, including ours. That's one of the countries it can't be blocked in. That's just, that's going to be a problem. You know, if it was like Guatemala and like Zimbabwe and like, you know, uh, one other place, then I could, you know, maybe get away with it. Like, I'd feel bad for like the the, the Guatemalan uh, geefolutionaries. Like, I'm sorry about you guys, but like, you know, most of our audience is here. But when they're, it's like, it's blocked in the United States. I, you know, it, it's blocked in three countries. I was like, oh, that's not too bad. Then I clicked on it. One of them was the United States. I was like, well, I guess we can't have that. So um, I had to monkey with it and I reposted it five times and I finally figured out how to make it work. And um, I don't think I'm going to have to go through that every time. I think I figured it out. Um, it's maybe going to be different with different movies, with different rights holders, with the images. But, but it's a brand new format. The images are back. More than just images are back. I will say that it's a totally different format and uh, it is still rewind. It's still the same kind of analysis. They're still running kind of long, but it is the same, uh, but, but it is a new format. So look forward to that. It's on Friday. And if you want to watch it right this very moment, you can become a patron, a patron on Patreon at just the $2 level. And you can already watch it. It's, it's over there. It's in there right now. Take a look. Mm hmm. We uh, I guess we'll close out. Well, maybe not close out with this. This isn't really a good closer, but okay, we'll lock it real quick and then maybe we'll do a little bit. Actually, give us a $5 super chat. Um, I'm gonna deliver this as best I can because I haven't seen the movie. Moving right along, footloose and fancy free. Moving right along, footloose and fancy free. There you go. Thank you, Captain Logan. Uh, I laugh every time at the fork in the road. The Muppet movie has a special place in my heart. Oh, me too. It's wonderful. Yeah, we'll do a commentary on that at some point. Cool, cool. Absolutely. Mm hmm. Might be a fun blend commentary. Although I tend to ramble. So you'll be like, it would be really fun to watch this movie if Captain Logan would shut the heck up. <laughs> so, what, do want to, what do you want to close with? Do you want to close with the news thing or like a, a thoughtful question? We haven't really got any of those. Oh, I like thoughtful. Qu yeah, but the problem with the thoughtful question right at the end of the show is like, Cap, we got to leave. And I'm like, oh, but it's like a 10 minute question. Okay, I'll save that for later. We'll, we'll, do, the, we'll do the news thing. Okay, all right. All right. Um, from SS Jerry. I'm super interested in Brightburn. What the heck is it, Cap? DC, or is it just meant to appear as Superman? Oh, yeah, clearly, it's it's uh, it's just meant to, to to appear as Superman. Yeah, yeah. Brightburn is is not is not a DC property at all. Uh, it's it's one of those things that is being kind of a you know Superman stand-in. It's it's a satire. It's. It looks like, and I think this is the big selling point of it. We'll see what it's like when we see it. And Eric and I are going to review that. It looks like it's what if Man of Steel was intentionally what it feels like to some people, which is uh, this guy with superpowers who murders everyone and sees himself as the most important thing. Now, that's not what they thought they were making with Man of Steel, but some people felt that way about it. And uh, it's it's a it's a horror film, and it's if Superman... I really want it to be Superman raised by those Kents, by the way. I want it to be like, if Superman was raised wrong, and by raised wrong, we mean the Kents in Man of Steel. And then he turns into that. Um, my biggest concern about it, uh, and DJ, I don't know if you looked at the trailer, if you know what we're talking about, but I'm worried it's gonna be chronicle all over again like Ooh. i'm i'm kind of afraid we've been here and done this already yeah and i hope it's not just chronicle again it looks like it's about a lot of the same things you know it's a it's a it's a teenager who's an outcast who can't find himself right and um who's got powers and he's not at all ready to uh try to to try to use them or to try to understand them, uh, to be able to control them and it's an allegory for um you know, puberty to some degree and for the difficulties of going through, you know, being a teenager. And I'm really concerned that this is going to be chronicle again, but in Kansas. Was it really in Kansas? I think, I think, it, yeah, yeah. I, I, and, and I think the name of, I think it's Brightburn, Kansas. And the name of the town is Brightburn. It's in Kansas. Oh, wow. That's what I remember. I don't know if I'm right about that, but. Yeah, yeah. we did it. There we go. All right. Well, everybody, thanks a lot for watching the Captain Logan show. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, DJ, you did a wonderful job on your first time out. Thanks a bunch for, for being. I mean, you've done this before, but your first official time out in your snazzy suit. Yes. Look at that. It looks amazing. Thanks, he looks guys. Like thanks for all the warm welcomes. It's been great.
Looking forward. Uh, to he you. looks like yeah. You guys, you guys were absolutely wonderful. Thanks a bunch for. I uh, do want to ask you to and welcoming DJ. <laughs> uh, you, you look like you're prepared for something way more important than this. Ah, uh, there's nothing more important than this. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. Uh, I appreciate it. Well, folks, uh, this was just absolutely wonderful. We're going to come back next week. We sure are. Next Wednesday night, 7 o'clock Central Time. We're going to do it again. It's going to be another Ask Us Anything show, uh, but we're going to next time put in a goal for Super Chats. If we get to a certain number, I will do another show next week. I'll do something next Friday. Uh, and if we don't, that's totally cool. And we'll just do another one the week after that. Uh, but that's the thing I'm going to start offering every so often. And because uh, I've been back and forth on doing extra Captain Logan shows. And instead of uh, trying to produce this definitely every week, I thought it would be cool to do it that way. And um, the, uh, most of our funding these days comes from the audience. And you guys have been absolutely wonderful. I say this every time. Uh, so many generous people helping to make this possible and uh, helping me to make this my livelihood. And, uh, Love you guys. You're fantastic. I'm so excited to be back and making it happen again. Uh, DJ, say say goodbye. Oh, well. <laughs> See you later, folks. I'm Gavin Logan, and this was the Captain Logan Show. Good night, everybody.